Everyone has the right to be happy without feeling guilty, they say, but according to Elder David A. Banner, guilty is to the spirit what pain is to the body. Media personality and businesswoman Toke Makenwa took her special time to slam Reno Omokri over a post he made shading divorced women and slay queens, which came across like the post was directed at her. If she is affected, does that mean she is guilty of something? Hello guys, it's Nuelin here for African Glitz. Reno Omokuri, a popular human activist, took to his Instagram page to share a post about being natural and beautiful by using a throwback photo of the former first lady of Nigeria, late Mrs. Mariam Babangida. He said Mariam Babangida was one of the world's most beautiful women ever. He added that the media needs to project more natural beauties like the late former first lady instead of force feeding the youths with stunning photos of bleach divorced slay queens with surgically enhanced bodies. He went on to call them useless women that are corrupting the morals of young adults and said nothing about them is real from head to toe and all they do is teach beautiful melanin endowed girls to hate their bodies, not knowing that one hot towel will wipe away the fake beauty that they flaunt. Finalizing the post as if he has a particular someone in mind, he said to Fiakwa, may your type disappear from our public life before you poison our women with your rapt mentality. Well, media girl Toke Makinwa felt the shade was directed at her just because around the same time, she shared these beautiful pictures of her having a great time while on holiday, showing off her beautiful banging body. When one of her fans asked her if her perfect page, which has suddenly gotten bigger, was all natural, she revealed it was paid for swiftly. This wouldn't be the first time Toke Makinwa will make it clear that she has gone under the knife to enhance her body to her satisfaction. The fashionista for the first time revealed that she had plastic surgery in a Twitter rant while reviewing her 2018 lessons after a sad divorce. Answering the burning questions from numerous speculations after her body magically transformed, Toke revealed that she hated her body and took action to fix it. Again, in a 2020 episode of her YouTube show Toke Moments, she revealed that she had no regrets enhancing her body, but she made it clear her boobies are still real. However, she had work done on her lower body because she had the desire to be curvy and attractive in her clothing. So, after the fireball post from Reno Omokri, Toke quickly took to social media to call him out, describing him as an embarrassment, explaining that being divorced is nothing to shame anyone about and that life happens. She went on to say that people like him are the reason why a lot of people are in an unhealthy relationship and lose their dignity and in some cases their lives. Toke said Reno can celebrate a version of beauty without putting another down and he doesn't have to meddle in women's business. She went on to say that if Reno has a daughter, she hopes that his daughter gets the courage to never deal with a man as uncouth as her father. Toke did not end there. She went on to say that she doesn't care about shots intended her way, but she does care about this group of women Reno Omokri single-handedly insult with his divorcee comments. She added that to divorce is not a crime and every divorced person have survived something and sometimes getting a divorce is the only option they have. Toke also pointed out that she doesn't see a divorced man being shamed for living his life after a failed marriage, despite divorce being something that could happen to anyone. Finalizing her point, she said it's sad that one cannot survive a bad marriage, survive a mental breakdown, then had to deal with the judgment from people who have not walked a mile in someone else's shoes. It shouldn't be encouraged, she said. Someone's journey doesn't have to be other people's cup of tea. That's okay, but others must respect it. Happy with her points, Toke dropped the sugar that she is on holiday and having a great time of her life after a bitter divorce. In response to this, Reno Omokuri shared another post using Abani Darego, the first Nigerian woman to win Miss World Pageant's picture this time, and wrote, when you bleach and surgically enhance your body, you're not just saying I hate myself, you are also teaching young dark-skinned girls to hate their body and skin color. Adding a dynamite, he said, no matter how many old rich men date you, you remain a danger to yourself and the society. Ouch. 
Complimenting Abani Darego, he says she did not bleach or surgically enhance herself. He added that she is married and has a child and is a teen of joy to herself and her race. A beacon of virtue and pride to the black race and young girls can look at her and feel beautiful. Looking back at Toke's divorce to fitness instructor Maje Aida, she revealed on Toke moments that her marriage was fine until news broke that her husband has gotten another woman pregnant. She said she found out like everyone else on the blogs and this resulted in her divorcing the man she thought she knew for many years. It looks like when it comes to Toke Makinwa and Reno Omokri, great is the guilt of an unnecessary war. Do you think as an activist, Reno Omokri did the right thing by addressing the beauty of women? Do you agree with Toke Makinwa's point which means a woman owns her body and can do whatever she wants with it? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share. Don't forget to check out our channel for more interesting African stories and news we know you would like. Subscribe to get a notification whenever we drop a new juicy video to keep you updated. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.